Joining us now, David Weinstein. He's a former assistant U.S. attorney. He is now with the Hinshaw Law Firm. David, thank you so much for being with us. Now, House managers laid out a detailed mountain of evidence. What's your reaction to what we saw today? They did a very good job today. They were very precise. They were methodical. They were presenting the pieces that are going to give the big picture here, both prior to the insurrection that occurred and while it was going on at the Capitol. So they've done a very good job of presenting the evidence. The question is, have they been able to turn the tables on the Republicans who are going to vote against impeachment, regardless of what the evidence says? David, the president's lawyer said yesterday that you can't punish political speech, that somehow the former president's calls for his supporters to fight didn't really mean fight, it was metaphorical. The Democrats effectively dismantle that? Well, they did a very good job at dismantling that. It'll be up to the president's lawyers to try and pick that apart. But as we saw today, they were putting in statements that the president himself made, whether they were audio clips, whether they were tweets, and they were statements that were made far in advance of January 6th, setting up what was going on. And they went beyond just political rhetoric or free speech. And as one of the House managers pointed out, it's one thing to do this as a private citizen on the street. It's entirely another thing to do this as the chief executive officer of the United States. And David, the House impeachment managers speaking today also made the case that the attack was not spontaneous. And they used the president's own words, not just from January 6th, but his words and actions months before that. How important is it sort of to set that stage in making their case? I think uh, David Weinstein froze on us. David, can you hear us? Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I can hear you now. I think you were asking me about how they were using the president's words and actions yes. both prior to as well as during the actual insurrection itself. They did a very good job to show that this was pre-planned and that it was his intent to incite these people to go and breach the Capitol and go in and engage in this insurrection. And that's the key here proving that he incited them to go in and engage in the insurrection, and they're doing a very good job of it. Yeah, it certainly was a very powerful presentation, but getting those Republican senators to change their mind, that's going to be a tough hill to climb. Uh, we'll continue following this. David Weinstein, thank you very much for joining us.